this example, I've logged in as a student, and I've gone into the grade sections to get an overview of what it might look like from the student perspective. You can see that all assignments are going to be uh, listed here in the grade section of the grade book that are um, unmuted, that are available to students. As you scroll over the assignments, you'll see that they will uh, uh, show which assignment is associated with which assignment group. So for example, we can see this Preventing Concussions Project to Research the Problem is part of the projects group. As I scroll down as a student, I also notice that all of the assignment groups will show not only what my current score in that assignment group, but it will also show how much of the percentage of that is uh, weighted in um, the uh, grade itself. And I can see that over here as well. For students, um, for example, in this case, uh, this project that is uh, worth 30 points and 20% of my grade, I have the ability as a student to, to create what's called a what-if score. And as a student clicks into that, they can see, oh, if I study really uh, hard for this particular project um, and prepare really well for this project, I can see that my total score will change as well. So the what if score is the score that students can use to see um, what their grade might change to. And this can be really helpful as they plan um, some of their major assignments. So when I click on the uh, revert back to uh, the actual score, you'll see that the score itself uh, reverts. Um, in the next example, you're going to see as a teacher that you can add grades um, into a particular assignment group uh, that you don't have students actually submit uh, any information for, um, but you are just simply adding that grade into the gradebook. So we'll take a look at that uh, a little bit later on.